Saludos. Welcome to Love Your Chichos. It's been a minute, so let's jump right in it. So recently I've been watching a lot of YouTube and one of my favorite YouTubers, Evelyn from the internet, is having a series where she's making drinks every week to kind of spice up your weekly drink rotation. And I was so inspired from her series that I'm going to do my own series called Saucy Sundays. And I know it sounds like it's going to be for drinks. It's not. It's going to be for sauces. And why? Why sauces? Because when we did HelloFresh for a while, the thing that I realized the most that I enjoyed from all of those recipes was that they had a little something that they would sprinkle on the food that would kind of make it feel that much tastier and yummier and just, I loved it. So since using HelloFresh, I made sure to always include a little saucy something in my meals to kind of elevate it, if you will. So today I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite sauces that is super easy to make that can be put on any of your dishes to kind of get some creamy, delicious textures in your meals. The main ingredient for this sauce is cucumbers. And honestly, I cannot stand cucumbers. So this is why I love this recipe because all you really have to do is grate the cucumbers and then throw it into some Greek yogurt and some add some garlic, some lemon, easy breezy, some dill, and you're good to go. So all I'm doing right now is, oh, even the smell, even the smell grosses me out. Um, so all I'm gonna do is chop this up so that it fits in the food processor. Be right back. Okay, we're back and all of the zucchini, I mean cucumbers are grated. You can see here. And the last time I made this, I remember needing to like strain out all the water from the cucumber. Tuna has something to say. So we're just gonna use a cheesecloth to get all that moisture out. And then we're just gonna move on to the next step. Honestly, the reason I don't like cucumbers is because they taste like soap. But this recipe or like making them this way takes away that soapy flavor. And for people that like cucumber juice, <laughs> this is a great way to, to reutilize this. If I was in my homesteading bag, I would do that, but I'm not. I wonder if I could like pickle this, that would be cool, but that's just not my vibe. So we're gonna take out as much of the juice as possible because I don't want this sauce to be watery you know okay now we take this out and we have all of this cucumber to throw into our bowl i almost feel like i should chop it up a little bit but it's fine we're doing easy breezy sauce gonna <coughs> throw that over there okay the next thing i want to do is add some garlic to my sauce i could throw this in the grater too but why not spend some time together and great. I realize I haven't been looking at the camera this whole time. So my bad. Just gonna, <laughs> just so we could get this skin off. I'm only gonna use like two cloves of garlic because these garlic are pretty big. So we're gonna chop these up super, super tiny. Same thing here, chop. Oh, you know what would have been smarter to use? The freaking um, that thing that you press it. Then I could have done this right away. But I'm curious to know what kind of sauces that you all use to make your dishes be a little yummier. I'm really excited to kind of bring in some of the other, ooh, watch your fingers, some of the other sauces for the other weeks. But this, this is fun for right now. I like to. Like to um, use the tzatziki with like grilled meats or ground meats or any meats. I think it's really good with that. And I really like it with rice. Like, I don't know. There's just something about rice when it's covered in some kind of like sauce that I freaking love. And when I get some tzatziki, I'd be doing that. Um, I'm gonna zest this to get a little bit more of an essence of the lemon in there on top of the lemon juice. I think 
thing that'll spice it up just a little bit. I thought I got my finger there for a second. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. But we're gonna zest this lemon, get the juice, add in the dill, mix it up with the yogurt. And then we got a nice tzatziki to add to our dishes for the summer. I'm saying this right now and it's like pouring rain outside. Like, what am I gonna grill in this rain? But I do have some leftover, you know, meat. Yesterday we made some Philly cheesesteaks. They were so good. Like literally probably better than I could have, if I would have bought it, it wouldn't have been as good as what I made yesterday. So maybe I could eat it with that on like a tostada. Mmm, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we got all the zest there. Oop. Don't forget. Don't forget. We want all of that. Then we're just gonna do a little bit of lemon. There's a seed right there. Okay. Some lemon. Beautiful. And I don't know, like, besides this, I don't know how people use dill. Like, besides using it in tzatziki, what do people use dill for? I have no idea. I only use it for this. Maybe like a burger? Would it be good, like, on a burger? I don't know. Do you know? Let me know. I'm just going to chop it up a little bit. Wouldn't it be funny if my lashes look like that? I've been looking for some green mascara. I found this really nice pink mascara and purple mascara and blue mascara, but I really want a green mascara because I think it would just look so nice. Like, don't you think? Did I say mascara? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh my God, this still smells pretty good. We might need a little bit more, but we'll see when I put the yogurt in. I want that knife that's like square and you go. I gotta order one of those knives. Okay, we got this. I'm thinking I should use a bigger bowl. So let me do that and then I'll put it in this bowl to serve. BRB. That was the chair, I promise. <laughs> You can use any yogurt that you want, as long as it's plain and Greek. So we're gonna take about, mm, let's do three scoops. Did I do three? I think I did four. Scoops. Let's throw all of this in there. Give it a nice mix. It's looking so good. I think I might need more yogurt though to kind of hide some of this cucumber thing. Okay. Yum. And we need, definitely need more dill. It just looks so freaking good. And then you just put it on some toast even. Let's do... Who took this off? Let's do, this is probably like a fourth cup. More. Okay, yum mola. That sound, not yum. But is it gonna taste hella good? Yes. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like, okay, let's cut the rest of these over here and it's so freaking easy like yes you can buy it which is even easier but if you have some cucumbers you know if you go to your farmer's market which i haven't found one here yet but if you go to your farmer's market and they have cucumbers on sale and then they're kind of like at the end of their lifespan this is a great way to use them all 
so that you can not waste them. Ooh, okay. She's cute. It kind of reminds me, I don't know, something about this reminds me of Dr. Seuss. Is it just me? Okay, let's mix it all up. Add the lemon into that juice that no one's drinking. Let's do a little bit more lemon. I like it sour. Ooh, yes. You know what we forgot? A pinch of salt. ASMR. <laughs> Sounds like mac and cheese. Let's do a little bit of oil. And it calls for olive oil, but use what you have. And should we do regular salt or fancy salt? Let's start with fancy salt a little bit. This is a chili, what is it actually? Chili lime. That's gonna be good. Give it a nice stir. The final stir down. Okay, another little. Oh yeah, mm. tell you on some rice or whatever you like. Look at this, goodness gracious. A little, what do they call this? Garnish, a little garnish. You messed up my garnish flow here. Okay. Okay, isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, I love it. Let's give it a little taste with the leftover meat from yesterday. This mise en place is terrible, by the way. Just, just atrocious. Don't judge me, I need to find a better angle. Okay, so we got this nice thing going on. Then we're gonna add some of this. Mm-mm-mm, mm-mm-mm. Mm. Okay, let's give it a little taste, taste. Excuse me, oh, excuse me. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Wow, that is so good. So that's been our first episode of Saucy Sunday. I can't wait to see you next week where we do another sauce. And most importantly, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do try this out, send me a picture, put it in the comments, do something to let me know that this was worth it. Um, it was worth it for me because now I got some tzatziki for the week. Catch you next video. Love you. Bye.